well this is my first video I guess so I thought I'd do something that's that I've found pretty handy and what it is is it's um, uploading an image to the server then being able to create a custom thumbnail by cropping uh, a, an area of that image and saving it to your server I mean it's quite handy for like a social network or like a web shop or something it's pretty good so first I'll show you the um, we're going to be using a jQuery plugin called jcrop it's pretty handy I'm not going to talk about it or anything I mean I'll f I'm just showing you now and I'll put the link in the description this is just an example page so click browse select an image and when we click submit it's going to upload the the image to the server and then it's going to resize that image to 500 pixels wide and uh, it will do the height in ratio to the width and I've, the reason I've done this is because when once I click submit now you'll see there's this cropping container overlay whatever you want to call it and my, my thinking behind it was if someone uploaded an image that was say 2000 pixels wide it would end up with this horizontal scroll bar on the screen or you'd have to um, do overflow hidden or something you know on the div and I just thought if you just restrict it to that size then you won't have to worry about any of that so yeah but you could take that out if you want to but I just think it's handy keeps it all uniform then as well so when you click submit it, um, as I said it resizes the image so this is 500 pixels wide and the height is just relative to to the actual picture I've actually picked <laughs> quite a shit picture quality wise but that's not the point of it anyway so yeah so you get this square you can drag it around wherever you want if you wanted his, his chest or I don't know, whatever whichever part you wanted um, I think default I've set it to be 150 by 150 but you can resize that tell everyone to say we wanted that so if you click cancel it will just do nothing it will just end it and if you click crop what it will do is it just saves this version of the image now this thumbnail version so if we view that image you can see it saved that on the server and it's just given it this random string it's just a hash of the current time I think so uh, one other thing is once once it saves the thumbnail it actually deletes the original file so you're not left with yeah yeah because this is the thing as well I'll say is um, at first I had it where you had the original image the resized image and then the thumbnail and I just thought there's no need for that if this if you have got a shop and say you've got hundreds of items you don't want to end up with all these these um, original images and the resized ones that you're not using so I thought we'll just get rid of them so yeah anyway let's go let's have a look at the code right so here's the code so the the way I've done this in this example is I've done it as if um, it was for like social network or, or something where there'd be a profile ID I mean it's not too important for now but yeah so I've just give it the ID of one two three four five I mean it, it doesn't really matter so um, the initial check we've got here I've numbered them I think there's four there might be three so the first one it does is if if <laughs> the first one it does is where if this temporary file exists and let me just say the the temporary image is um, the one that we've reciphered the cropping area so when we resize it for the cropping area we give it this this name of the profile ID underscore temp so which in this case is this one here so what we're doing is we're saying if this exists then delete it because as I mentioned before we're not going to keep these this temporary version of it all we want is the thumbnail so if that exists get rid of it so the next bit is where if someone has submitted the form here so that's that's what this does this looks for the the files array which is passed when you when you upload an image or well, not even image when you upload anything to the server so if this is passed then what we do is we get the the name size and temporary location of the image then we get the file extension then we set our upload directory then what we do is we set the file name so the initial file is called underscore original and then 
the when we resize it for the cropping area we call it underscore temp so I hope that makes sense I mean it's not it's not confusing or anything but I'm probably not explain I'm probably making it seem more difficult than it is but it's not all we're doing is we're uploading the original file and in this part here number two we're going to um, resize that original file and call it underscore temp so that's all that is and we're just setting the names up here we're just getting it out of the way so we set our names then we move the original file to the server give it the correct um, permissions then we've got this little check here where if for some reason we couldn't move this file then we just we kill the script and we return the file didn't upload but I mean that could be for a few reasons say um, someone uploads a file that's 10 meg in size and for whatever reason your server can only uh, can only take a 2 meg upload then that would get into here because it wouldn't successfully do it there could be other reasons but you know that that's one example of why it could get to that part so if it is successful and we do upload the file then what we do is we set the image source and we pass this to a, a, a little message variable which uh, we do display on the screen but that's not too important and then we set the source to this file name then the next part we resize the image to fit in the cropping area so now we we get the original size of the image which for instance could be 2000 pixels if it was some sort of desktop background and what we do is we specify that we want it to be 500 width and then we set the height relative to that width I mean you could change this to whatever you want I've just set it to 500 but that could be anything that could be I don't know 200 it doesn't matter it could be anything it could be a thousand it's one of the things it's it's up to you and what what you need it for so then here what we do is we check the type, the file type. So if it's a GIF, then we run this PHP function. If it's a JPEG, we do this. If it's a PNG, we do this. And all this is doing is this is all just preparing it to create this new 500 pixel wide version of the image to display in our cropped area. I mean, I hope this. I hope I'm explaining this right. I mean. If not, it's it's all commented, and hopefully you'll be able to decipher the shit I'm probably talking. But anyway, <laughs> um, so then what we want to do is we upload the new version, give it the permissions again, and that just means um, it's readable and writable. So then we want to free up the memory, so we want to destroy the original upload, and destroy the yeah destroy the variables and then we want to delete the original file upload so then we move on to so then what would happen right once you get to this part is it then would display the cropping area which is which is this here and what I'll do is I'll just do it again for you so run the page, pick your file, upload it. So now what it's doing there is this would be that 500 pixels wide and it would have done all that and it would have just deleted the original version of the file. So that's where we are on the script now. So then we have this and what is happening here is it's showing us this cropping area and this is all, I mean, it's all badly styled. I mean, it's all in line and all the rest of it. I mean, it's not too important. But this is the actual image that we are um, creating the cropped area from. So we give it this ID of jcrop target. So what that does is then in our JavaScript here, we have a function from the jcrop library. And what this does is it detects it detects if you update the coordinates of that cropping square that's there 
So whenever you move that, which is this here, it says on select update chord. So whenever you move that around, it calls this function. And what this does is it stores the X, the Y, the width and the height of this cropping area. And that cropping area is this here, what I'm moving around. So every time I move that, if you open Fireball, say, every time I move that, you would see that these coordinates would change and they get stored here. So then once you're happy with with the, the cropped area, you would then click Crop Image, which is this button here. So when you click that, when you click Crop Image, it then goes to here, which is number three. So, um, oh shit, let me explain something actually. I've put the file type that was posted. So what I've got is in that form, you'll see here, there's um, an input called type. And I've hard coded it to JPEG. But what you could do is put whatever whatever the image could be because you might not want to do that resize function that I'm doing and if you don't then your image type wouldn't you, you couldn't be certain that it would be JPEG so what you could do there is pass this type variable which we said at the very t at the very beginning and pass it to there so then what would happen is you can then run this resize function for the cropped area on various file types. I mean, mine's hard coded to JPEG in this example, so we're only ever going to run this part when we get to step three. Only ever going to run this. But you, I've left, I've, well, I've put this in here, so if it is a PNG, it will still work and produce the a JPEG of the cropped area. And also, if it's a GIF, it will do the same. So it gives you that freedom where if you ever need it, the, the code is there and it does work. All the code's there. I'm going to put all this in the description. I'll put a link to everything so you can just download it and use it. I mean, like I said, I mean, it's not, it's just thrown together pretty much. But the functionality is there and then it's up to you to run with it and do whatever you want with it. But hopefully it comes in handy for someone because it's a nightmare when you need something like this on your site and you can't find a good example of it. So... Hopefully this was sorted for you.